Heaven has become a trifle to you. Hell is almost a jest. Eternity, an empty notion, and death, but a bugbear. Charles Spurgeon. Many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in, and shall not be able. Luke thirteen twenty four. I do not wonder that so many are deceived, when I see the careless way in which they deal with their souls. When men have to do with their estates, they are very careful. They pay a lawyer to go back over the title deeds, perhaps for two or three hundred years. In trade, they will hurry hither and thither to attend their commercial engagements. They would not launch into speculations, nor would they run great risks. But the soul, the poor soul, how men play with it as a toy, and despise it as if it were worthless. Two or three minutes in the morning. When they first roll out of bed, two or three odd minutes in the evening, when they are nearly asleep, the fag ends of the day given to their souls, and all the best part given to the body, and then, with what indifference do you lend your ears to, often to the preaching of the word? It is an old song you have heard it so many times. Heaven has become a trifle to you. Hell is almost a jest, eternity an empty notion, and death but a bugbear. Alas, it is a marvel that there are not more deceived. The wonder is that any finds the gate, that any discover eternal life, when we are so so mad, so foolish, so insane, as to trifle where we ought to be solemnly in earnest. And to play and toy, where the whole heart should be given to a work of such everlasting importance. God help us, since it is so easy to be deceived, to search and watch, to look and test and try that we be not found castaways at the last. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it, but small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Matthew seven thirteen to fourteen. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you? Unless, of course, you fail the test. Two Corinthians thirteen five.